now. Okay, so I actually work in market history. It's market history, market research. Um, this is actually a picture of me working at my desk. Um, I actually get a lot of time to think about brands and stuff for my clients. Um, but I didn't start off in market research. That certainly wasn't my degree. I started off in art history. I studied at um, COPA. And um, that's, I don't know, is anyone from Kofi here? Yes. Do you know Alan Krell? Yes. Okay, he's one of my favourite lecturers and I learned a lot of shit from Alan he's Krell. A he's a genius. Um, anyway, this is me on the job in Copenhagen. Um, but if I, the way that I think about my clients' brands tends to be through images. So if you're my client, you're starting to talk about your brands and how you want to position it, I can't help but think about it in terms of pictures. And that there's four ways that you can think about it in kind of two four buckets. The first one is this sort of classical way, and this is the Oath of the Harati by De Vere. This was painted um, just in the early days of the French Revolution. You might recognise that sort of character in the end. But anyway, what all of this sort of imagery is about, if your brand is around this, it's all about classicism, it's all about power, it's all about authority, it's about standing and being part of the establishment. Now, you can use this imagery for good and evil as well as sort of Nazi party did in the 30s. Brands like Armani, Mercedes, Macquarie Bank, these are, bank, these are brands that are all about power. Those are sort of quite unfashionable and a lot of clients don't want to be in this space either, so it's sort of a bit nasty. Um, the next set is, uh, is much more about sensuality and um, tactileness and sensing. This is a painting by Fragonard. Um, this is actually painted just before the French Revolution, so this is sort of the height of French Rococo. You kind of see like this guy pulling a swing and someone's getting a look up that means skirt. But this is all about sort of decadence and sort of the side and, and Madame Pompadour sort of decorating the side and sort of really 80s and Studio 54 and now there's a plug for some wallpaper there as well. Um, but this is really summed up in brands like Opium and um, Chambord the Cure and, and just things that are tactile and sensual. So it's all about feeling, it's all about thinking. The next kind of pile of stuff that you can um, chuck things in is this kind of, instead of just being really sensual, it's about fun and play. And this is a Japanese artist, um, Murakami, who did sort of stuff with um, Mark Jacobs or Louis Vuitton. And I can tell you a story about that other image, but I, I won't tell you now. But this is all about, it's really high camp, it's really fun, it's really playful, but it's not childish, it's more childlike and innocent, because it's actually a little bit naughty and a little bit sexual as well. Um, this is kind of really fun and playful, but the brands that sit within this are actually quite serious. So you've got these brands like Agent Provocateur, which is really like a playful, fun adult brand, but also very expensive. And this sort of the sort of new cute cars that are coming out. So it's all about fun and playfulness and sort of innocence, but not being too kiddy either. The next area is much more serious. So this really is sort of summed up by the Bauhaus, which is not so much that we want to get legitimacy, legitimacy from the past, we're going to actually just look from the future. So that house emerged after World War I, where they sort of said, the world is shit, we need to create something completely new. So you can sort of see images like that in, this is actually in the Bauhaus, house, and then sort of images around um, the Soviet Union, and then sort of the imagery that Obama was using as well, which was like, we're not actually going to look or borrow things from the past, it's just purely from the future. And these, the brands that tend to fall into here are really like, have really strong philosophies around them. So like the brand Camper is just all about thinking. So walk with our shoes and think. So it's all about sort of thinking, philosophy, and very sort of strong aesthetics. So like any good market researcher, you put it in a two by two matrix. And you get sort of the opposite. So the bad house is very much about the intellect, down to sensing and feeling. And then you've got sort of fun and frippery. And then the other side is sort of power and authority. Now, mass media communications with brands tend to sort of represent brands, but you sort of get a sense of what it's about, but you can't actually see the full picture. So you can't get to necessarily link all the stories and the, the sort of history around images. Whereas someone like Alan Krell always taught me that a really good image or a really good story is not only the story within a picture, and there's a story within each of these pictures that are really beautiful, but it's also the bigger story around it. And it's really interesting because we've got so much tools at the moment you know, at our politics as marketers to sort of build this bigger picture and make lots of nice little links. So you're not necessarily left with just this picture that you should actually be building lots of layers and connecting things with people so that people just don't see you as this pixelated brand but this beautiful, wonderful thing with lots and lots of stories and 